In a forest northeast of Estacada, children play. During a weekend at Camp Aaron, children grieving the recent loss of a loved one. Early Friday, though, it's the voices of adults we hear. Local volunteers from New York Life delivering supplies for this, the 10th Camp Aaron here. It honors Aaron Metcalf of Woodenville, Washington, who died of liver cancer at age 17. Founded by Providence Hospice of Oregon and the Moyer Foundation, the free camp offers kids 6 to 17 fun and skills to cope with their loss. So learning about grief, trying out different ways of expressing their grief through art and movement and play and talking. Camp Aaron, Camp Aaron. Sixty volunteers from Providence will help create that environment. We're just kind of, you know, their buddy for the weekend, and we're there with them, and we walk the journey with them. Tony knows that journey. As a young adult, she lost her mom to cancer. Like the water skippers in the nearby creek, the girls she bunks with will realize they're not alone. Here's your schedule. Volunteers bring a wide variety of experiences to camp. All need to be patient listeners, a little silly, able to go without sleep, and not be scared by sudden swings in emotion. Some are trained bereavement hospice counselors, while others are first-timers. You know, you, you waffle back and forth between, this is going to be very weird, all these kids have lost someone, how do I support them in that? And then you swing back to, hold on, this is summer camp, there are llamas floating around over there. Rojo and Smokey are as big a hit with the volunteers as they will be with the kids. Stuffed animals will greet the campers in their cabins. Each child may take home a bear along with the handmade quilt on their bunk. It's here at campfires and sharing circles the kids will talk about their loss. Big buddies must be prepared to listen. They express their grief and their loss but you know here the big buddies and all of the support people were able to hold it for them and let them know it's okay to be themselves. A bit overwhelmed by what they see, campers at first cling to their parent or guardian. Well, welcome to Camp here, and we're glad you're here. Cue the big buddies, who will try to involve the kids in the many games and activities. Michelle Farmer lost her mom to cancer, the grandmother of her three young children. Michelle's wish for the weekend? Yeah, for them to kind of grieve and be with other children that are going through the same thing and feel free to cry and have emotions and not make it feel like it's upsetting me. Saturday night, the children will make luminaries, floating them onto the camp pond. It's a chance to say goodbye and honor a memory. Sunday, the reunion with caregivers promises to be emotional for big buddies as well. You see the change in the kids. There's an openness. There's a willingness to talk. There's that joy of being reunited. That always really touches me. Their feelings will bounce like a skipping rock for 48 hours. And this year's volunteers will never be the same. But they aren't complaining. And with a waiting list, Camp Aaron should be around for many years to come. For Providence, I'm Mike Donahue.